Following the critical issues affecting the Niger Delta region, the Niger Delta Ethnic Nationalities Youth Leaders Forum has called on the federal government and relevant regulatory bodies to demonstrate transparency and accountability in their operations in the conduct of investigations on the non-availability of crude oil for domestic refineries and other energy security. The president of the Isoko National Youth Assembly, Dr. Enwake Orogun, made the call at the Niger Delta Ethnic Nationality Youth Leaders Forum on issues in the oil and gas industry in Port Harcourt, River State Capital. It could be recalled that oil theft and pipeline vandalism have been a major concern in the Niger Delta region, significantly depleting the country's scarce resources. The President Isoko National Youth Assembly says there is need for the government to expedite action on the ongoing rehabilitation of the nation's moribund reform refineries, which has been a major cause for concern for years. The forum therefore called for a renewed focus on sustainable development initiatives that directly benefits the communities in the Niger Delta, including prioritizing infrastructure, development, environmental preservation, and the creation of employment opportunity for youths. The parents of and youths who are involved in the illegal border. Let me just say that we do not have a justification for the economic sabotage that the illegal border is causing. But even far less of justification is the neglect of our people in this refinery process. Is this, in this refining process. The neglect of our youth in harnessing and refining products, natural resources that has formed the mainstay of the Nigerian economy and found in our very own land. We want to have a recruitment exercise can say yes, in this recruitment exercise we are able to have 100 youth who were recruited for this purpose. We are able to have 200 youth across, give it to Morocco, give it to Isoko, give it to Aztec, give it to Epic Youth, give it to, give it to Ito. This is what we want to, we want to be able to account for it. And not telling us you gave us 100 youth that we cannot see in the street or feel your presence. The forum reiterated its call for the mainstream and legislation of the artisanal crude oil refining as a means of integrating local operators into the former economy so as to reduce environmental damage and promote economic inclusion. We are urging the federal government to ensure the full operationalization of the host community development trust as stipulated in the Petroleum Industry Act of 2021, emphasizing on the implementation of the provision for development in the region. We we'll also mentioned the full and serious implementation of the PIS, the, Pe the Petroleum Industry Act of 2021, especially Section 235 that talks about the hosts community development trusts. And we agree that we want to see, we're calling on the IOCs and all the relevant stakeholders referred to as settlers in the same PI Act to immediately take steps, whatever step they want to take, so, so that our communities will start benefiting the 3% um, from the previous year's expenditure that is from the Niger Delta as much as we as it is for what is due to us. We are not pushing for change of government or trying to call for a military coup or for change of government. And that was why we stayed out from that process. We want to appeal with the leadership of this country to be steadfast and take our engagement here 
The forum, however, applauds the federal government's gas to power and presidential CNG initiative, but stressed the need for these programs to be scaled up and implemented more rapidly, especially in the Niger Delta, to improve access to electricity and clean energy alternative for the people of the region. Kike Lomo Okeri, Global Television News.